is the public thing on Social Blade, which is totally wrong. It's total bullshit. Remember I told you I released like a whole bunch of videos. As you can see, it was on April 29th, 2021. And it says I got 154,000 hits in that day, which I didn't because I just re-released old videos. And then also you'll see here, it's claiming I made $620, which obviously I didn't because it was old, all old footage. So that's just proof that Social Blade is full of shit and they don't know everything. So I did that to back up Adam Barter's um, penis video. So there, that's what it does. It's fake. And I did it to prove that Adam was right. And you could see it on his too. But now I told you what I did beforehand and you could see the results. So there you go. More backup for Adam Barter. I'm back. This is taping, right? Okay, if this went on slow, sometimes it goes on slow-mo and I'm like, oh God, I really fucked that up. All righty. What the hell's wrong with these, this world? I, I don't understand people. A few updates. <laughs> Lizzie's gotten out of the basement again to make another hate video about me. Shocker. Um, Panda. Panda's dead. She hasn't made a video about me in an hour, so she must be dead. Because, I mean, for a while, I think she was making a video rant about me, like, every 10 minutes. So she's dead. Sorry, not sorry. Um, Perfect Storm! What happened? Bitch, what happened? I do it. Some people cannot handle a clapback from the Queen. They cannot handle a clapback. I did mention her in my, one of my latest clapbacks. And, oh! Oh, wait a minute. Oh, she did not grace us with another episode of... I don't, oh, something in the thought list. Bitch, I don't want you to ever make another motherfucking video with my motherfucking name in it. So thank you. I appreciate it. You took it from the queen and you listened to me. Thank you. The only person who was probably really disappointed, I know how to be disappointed, was Adam Varda. For sure, because he loves that shit. Me? Thank you. I hate it when people do that shit. So thank you. Appreciate it. Love that you took the threats from the queen seriously. Thank you, bitch. Bye-bye. Oh, uh, what else? Uh, <laughs> uh, here, there's another queen in town. Although... They got some cheap motherfucking crown on their motherfucking head. This is nice. This is really nice. Let me tell you. See that glisten? These are nice. Okay? These are really good. <laughs> I've never laughed so much since I've been doing this stuff in my life. This is hilarious. This is absolutely hilarious. Marcy went out to the Dollar Tree and got herself a big-ass motherfucking cheap plastic crown. It's so effing big, it's ridiculous. And <laughs> a scepter. Seriously, what are the scepters for? I, I, don't, I never understood that. I don't get that whatsoever. So... <laughs> There's another queen in town, bitch. You can't wear the good one. You got the cheap one. So good for you. <laughs> uh, I, I did think she threatened in one of her videos. Go ahead. Whoa. All right. There's only one. That's me, bitch. Y'all gonna try to imitate me. You ain't taking me down from the throne, motherfuckers. Never gonna happen. No. I know. The accent comes out. I know. When I get pissed, the country girl comes out. I know. And people get mad when I do country. They think it's insulting to you, honey. I don't know where the voices come from. They're in my head. Oh, my God. There you go. There you go. I don't know. Whoever I fuck, fucking felt like I unsubscribed to. So I still subscribe to Adam. Yes. So not yet. Not yet. We haven't broke up yet. Not yet. So yeah. Somebody tried to catfish the queen. So cute. Oh my God. The lengths that people go to to get me. It's, I mean, on the obsession. Really? They're obsessed with the queen. Seriously. Sick mental fucking problems. I can't make this shit up. I can swear on a Bible that happened. I really don't understand this world. I don't understand this world. I don't get it. I really don't. And the thing is, this all happens to me. And people come after me for doing what? Enjoying my life. I wear a crown. Woo, I wear a crown. So what? I make funny dance videos. They're funny. I made you smile. Good. That's the whole point. I made myself laugh. That's the whole point. Brings people back to my YouTube channel. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. But, uh, you know, they keep coming after me. Keep coming after me. God, did I make that hot? What the hell? Mm, too hot. Oh, my God. Okay, what else? So... I was purged in the bedroom last night. Oh my God, fuck. Big box came crashing down on my shoulder. I'm like, oh boy, I'm gonna feel that today. Um, it, it wasn't, I mean, I got my dance videos in, which was good. I wanted, there's another one I wanna do, it looks pretty slow. There's a gay couple, they're also in London. Oh my God, I gotta go to London. Fuck this, I'm going to London. They're cute too. They make a lot of dance videos. It's a couple, they're really good. And they, they show their whole body and they move really good. Some people, they don't show the whole body. I really need a, a complete visual to try to figure out what's moving. You know what I'm saying? They're really good. They just did a lot, they're so cute. Anyways, I'm going to do that one later. Don't ask me what the name of the song is because I don't know. I don't know what it is. But yeah, so that was fun. A real guy actually commented back. Yeah, yes, it worked. Finally. Good. Good for me. All right. So I, I'm going to hit stop because I need to do this in sections. I'll be back. Okay. So this is the public thing on Social Blade, which is totally wrong. It's total bullshit. Remember I told you I released like a whole bunch of videos. As you can see, it was on April 29th, 2021. And how many videos? And the video I am referring to, she removed it. She took it down, and I'm gonna tell you why. I know why. Ooh, but I have a very good memory. Honey, I don't forget. Mm -mm. Hold on. I couldn't even tell you. Okay, so two days ago, the bitch streamed for an hour and a half called Cynthia Beaumont. You have my attention. Girl, I always had your attention. 
You just never have that. Then that was the other one was the quick live deleting, which I mentioned because I forget what. That was another hour and a half rant. Then a week ago, Cynthia Beaumont, really, I don't even know if I looked at that. I probably glanced at it. I'm just always trying to see what Adam says about me. That was almost two hours. <laughs> then we also in that week, another one, Cynthia Beaumont, the queen of nastiness. You know, bitch, I'm the queen of motherfucking everything. Then another one, anyone else tired of Cynthia Beaumont? And she threw Adam's name in the title too. Don't know why. And then after that, she goes on with her little, um, her little issue, which, which I think is her problem because she went and got her stomach cut surgery and perhaps she thought she'd get offered a television show or do one of the Mama June type hot to not type things. Maybe that's what she was hoping for. I don't know because I know her and Adam have been like frenzies for Evs and they're both been trying to get on shows. So maybe she thought she'd lose some instant weight and then somebody would say, oh my God, you're so hot. Not, okay. Mm. I don't know. So the video I'm referring to, the one she, either she deleted it or put it to private. I don't know one or the other um she was a raving lunatic it might have i don't remember how long i think i think it was three and a half hours three and a half hours now i'm going to tell y'all a little something 100 percent real so for the upcoming this friday adams is the finale of the tea the melrose place saga comes to an end it's over finito what is that word finito oh, i can't speak english never mind spanish it's over oh my god so and then in two weeks we're having it we're having a break for two weeks then comes the finale i don't know if that's going to be delayed or what but within supposedly two weeks is supposed to be the uh, no 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 the um the reunion which i thought was kind of fast to happen because i thought don't you have the reunion before the next season starts and i don't know what the hell's happening in the next, i don't know what's going on half the time anyways oh my god this is so confusing so i don't honestly understand all the shit adam's doing for the reunion i don't know i don't know what he's doing i really watched the show and i'm like what the only thing I knew was Adam's like, who would you be willing to do another diss out with? Like with Tan Mom, who would I be willing to do it with? I mean, let's keep it real, people. The list, <laughs> it could have been very long, but there's a lot of people I will not speak to. So I think he's thinking he can change my mind. Not gonna happen. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, so I'm like, well, all right. I said munching and tanning. I said, all right, I'm willing to go at this battle with munching and tanning. I mean, she's been asking for it, obviously, with these last videos all about me in the title. So I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll do munching and chatting. So last I heard, it was all cool. That was going to be my diss battle with her. So then I'm like, oh, let me, let me look at this, this video. This was the night before yesterday's tea. Keep it straight. It's crazy. Whoa. I mean, let's not forget. Let's not forget how, was it last week? Annie, her name is Annie, her real name. Why don't people use real name? Oh my God. All right. Anyways, Annie <laughs> went on the rant about Adam and the rant, that's right, that, I forget, so much goes on, I make so many fucking videos with TikTok, I can't remember, that's right, last week she went on the rant about Adam taking her wrench away, that's right, that's right, that's right, and then Adam made that video, that was his last finale of, blame it on YouTube, oh my god, <laughs> so stupid, but she got really nasty, I mean, she got super nasty, really, really nasty to Adam, it was nasty, and he was really hurt by what she said, how can you rant for three and a half hours about somebody, and I was told, she kept dissing me and him, him and him, but anyways, so, supposedly they squished the beef and they were cool i can't even remember all this stuff goes on one week it's ridiculous <laughs> then um she went on another tyrant rant against me and adam and that it went it was crazy oh shit i mean she was telling everything about a lot of things i mean she keeps betraying you adam i don't know why you keep wanting to work with her she keeps betraying you throwing you under the bus and she treats you like you're disposable I mean, and that shit seems real. That ain't fake. You don't rant for three and a half hours. I mean, and then she, she's ranting off the top of her head. I have notes. <laughs> I have notes to keep this shit straight. But she's got an issue. She is demented. So basically, she was saying that she hates me. Well, we know that. And she would never go on Adam's show against me. And don't forget, now, Adam had asked her weeks ago to do this. Weeks ago. If you want to be taken serious, if you give somebody your word, especially in the professional atmosphere, you do not break that. And we're talking down to the wire here. I mean, he's busting his ass. Who makes the, the playboard out? All this stuff. And I'm sure she got a playbill of it too. And live, she announces to the world she's not doing it. And she announces the plans. These are supposed to be top secret as a surprise for you guys as viewers. Like, oh, this is going to be the next battle. It's going to be really big. You know, it, it's, it's um, you know, like an appetite. You know, it's, you know, it would have been cool. It would have been really cool. It would have been great for the tea, for the show. And she agreed to do it. She agreed to do it. I agreed to do it. I can't stand these people. But I'm in, I'm like so in with the tea at this point. I'm just buried with it. So I'm like, fuck, let's, let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's go. And now she's like, I'm not doing anything with her. 
thing is, it wasn't with me. It was, you made a commitment to Adam Barner, your fucking friend. Your friend for years, I thought. I'm not friends with this man for years. It's been, I don't know, we're going on three months now. I don't even know. I think it was like around the tan mom. I've been in every episode of The Tea, which is like so funny. Because it was never planned. Never, ever planned. None of it. And I've been, every episode, I haven't missed one episode. So, that's crazy. I'm new. I gave the man my word, I'll do it. I never backed out of anything I ever said I would do. And she backs out live on the internet. And revealed this. This was a secret. This was a surprise for everybody. And she let the cat out of the bag. And this is the person you trust, Adam. Okay. We have very different ways of thinking about trust. Someone fucking disses me. She ran on. This is her second time going at you. Throws the tea, our show, under the bus by revealing our secrets. And puts it out there. She would never do a battle with Cynthia Beaumont because she hates me. Then I'm watching. I have a hair up my nose. This is driving me nuts. It's the, it's the mask I put in my nose, right? So I went and was watching another video of hers. And I, I, I mean, I don't, I honestly don't know a thing about this woman. I don't know a thing about her. I don't, I'm, does she have children? I do not know. All I have to say is these people that come after me make these rant videos about me. Who the fuck do you think you are? Who the fuck gives you the right to attack me, to spread lies and rumors, to instigate so much downfall in my real fucking life? Who do you fucking think you are? Why do you feel you're better than me? You're superior than me. I'm not bothering anyone. I have never called out anybody. I've never ever woke up in the morning and said, I'm going to go look on YouTube and tear someone's name apart. I'm going to tear apart everything they say is a lie. Everything about them, their religion, their sex, their creed, everything. This is what they do to me. This is what they've done. I've never done that. All I've ever done is clap back at people who have done this to me. This woman has endless videos about me going on and on and on. I forget which one it was. It really, I, I, I don't watch them because I, can, I cannot believe how they tear me apart. And a lot of these people, I don't know, just her, but a lot of these haters are mothers. They have children. What type of next generation are you creating if you, as an adult, think it's okay to tear another person apart? What kind of a person does that? I don't do anything but make videos about my life. And they tear everything about me apart. Nasty. Rude. And it's a domino effect because it creates such a pack mentality, the mob mentality. I mean, there's that Facebook group, which I don't even, I've let, they said hundreds of followers now, which I wouldn't doubt. Were they all edged on somebody to come to my home and to stalk me? For real. It's just endless what these people have done to me. And this woman is one of them also because she's creating videos about me, spreading lies, spreading hate. And they're all in her chat, tearing me apart, agreeing with one another, adding fuel to the fire, going and going and going. And these people are mothers. God help us all. God help us all. I mean, so, you know what's funny about this? It was very lucky I saw it because it revealed a lot of stuff. It revealed stuff about Adam too. It was very eye-opening and I am grateful to God because he shows me these things. These things pop up. I see them because of God. And everybody's going to say, oh, the dark guard. No, my God is Jesus Christ. And I am a damn motherfucking good Catholic. I don't care if I fucking curse. Fuck you. I've gone through a lot of shit. A lot of shit. And I'm not taking it anymore. So, Annie says, I have, I mean, and this went on. And Adam was there too. It annoys me. I have no social skills. That I'm, I behave like an animal in public. I'm in my apartment right here. If I want to look silly. If I want to wear a crown, I will. Yeah, I do wear a crown in public. Yeah, I do. Basically, I do it just to piss people off. It's fun. Um, you don't understand me. I've done shit like this my entire fucking life. You have no idea how hardcore of a sleeper I was. You have no idea the shit I did to do what I did. I'm used to acting like this. This is fun to me. This isn't, it's cool. It's cool. Seriously. People that know me from back in the day know I would do anything to win. That's me. It's a thing. I like to win. I hate to lose. And I will do anything to win. Absolutely. So if I wear a crown out in public, so what? So what? I mean, it's more, it's cute to see someone wearing a crown. I'd rather see that. I've seen people walking around half naked. I've seen drunken men walk around completely exposed. You know, <clears throat> I've seen women brawless if their boobies all hanging out. I've seen a lot of things. And you know what? I would never make fun of them. I wouldn't. Because most of the time I see somebody like that, they're out of their mind. You know, I, I just, I'm just saying there's worse things to see out there than somebody wearing a crown and having a little fun. It's not a big deal. Obviously, I wouldn't wear the crown somewhere serious. Although, I don't know where that <laughs> I don't go anywhere. Where do I go? I go to pay. What do I, I keep on. Uh, where do I go? Acme. A few stores. So, I wear a crown. I'm a very fun person to be with. Can you imagine how cool I would be in real life? Seriously. I don't take anything serious. I like to laugh and have a good time. Wearing a crown in public shows how cool I am. The fact that you take it so serious that I do shows what an asswipe you are, bitch. Get real. But the thing is, then it keeps going on and on and on. She has no social skills. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, then the hair. Oh, okay. I have to say, Annie, 
You are so ugly. There's absolutely nothing that could help you, your face, or your body. You're so ugly. Your face is looks like a giant eyeball sideways. You have that type of a face, like an almond, but you look like an eyeball sideways. Your chin's hideous. Your forehead is so huge and so big. You can lose all the weight in the world, but you're never going to look beautiful. You're ugly. You're so ugly. Your soul is ugly. To make videos, to tear another person apart who's done nothing to you, you're ugly on the inside, outside, your soul is black. Your hair is disgusting. It is disgusting. It is the color of dog shit. There is nothing about you that is appealing. Absolutely nothing. Your voice screeches like a high pitch bitch. That's what it sounds like. I cannot stand to hear your voice. It is horrendous. It's hideous. There's nothing about you. When I have your show on, I push it all the way down so I do not have to look at you. I can't stomach you. Your face, your skin, your hair, your attitude, your clothes. There is nothing about you that is unique, interesting, or would be okay to look at. You're a fucking nothing. You're a worthless bitch. You were lucky I was going to fucking bat with you, bitch. I'm not about my hair. I should dye it. It looks fried. This, this, and that. I get picked on because I wear the crown. I make a few videos without a crown. Oh, she's trying to look sexy. I was trying to look different. Everyone's like, oh, the crown, the crown. I'm like, all right, let me do a video without the crown. So I like my hair. I like how it looks. I think it looks really cool. And that's not you, me. I love my hair. I love my hair down. I love my hair back. I love my hair. And that's the only one I have to love. I just think it's ridiculous. And then my video on TikTok, the dark horse, where you have the little lightning bolt in your hand. I was trying to look so evil and sinister. It's a cool app. You hold your hand up. It was really hard to hold it. And the longer you had kept still, the horns grew out of your head. And it was another thing. I just couldn't get it to work if I blinked. So if I would have done something right, my eyes would have went black. I was trying to get all the filters to work. And then I get all these comments. Oh, you're trying to look sexy. I'm growing horns out of my fucking head. What could be sexy about that? I'm the evil dark queen. You think I'm trying to look sexy? No. I mean, it's just funny. They complain I have the crown on, I take the crown off, and they make fun of me looking trying sexy. I'm not trying to look sexy. I'm just trying to look like a different person for a change. Something different. Trying to change it up. Unlike you, your hair is always back, tied back. Do you ever have makeup? You know, a little paint on that pig face might help. Just a little bit. Just saying. Don't think it would, because you need a gallon of it. You know, never. Never. Why would you make a video, I mean, and not wear any makeup? Nothing. Nothing. Disgusting. Disgusting. Um, yeah, and she's always complaining she has no money. It's funny, anybody who always complains they don't have money has lots of money. Always. I can't stand people. Always with the tip jar. Got no money. Anytime she makes a video, she posts it right at the top of the thing. Oh, please donate to my PayPal. I think she was bitching about her teeth. Honey, there's a lot of things about you that need fixing. And uh, you just need a lot of help. Yeah, so, and nobody's ever going to hire you. Why would they? You are so nasty. No one would want to work like with you. Just ask Adam Barda, who you just blew the whole um, reunion out of the water. You posted it and you backed out of a deal with a professional YouTuber, you dumb fuck. Yeah, let's spread that on YouTube. Let's tell everyone how Annie backed out of a deal. Nobody's going to work with you. Nobody's going to work with you. People will remember that. You have your word. You give it. You stick to it. And then you go, oh, do you know what her excuse was to Adam? Annie's excuse to Adam that she couldn't do the reunion, which isn't even going to take place for a few weeks. She's too sick. Yeah. She's saying she's recovering from her gastric bypass surgery. Really? Because you haven't stopped making a YouTube video yet. It's not like we're all flying in to be in a studio. We're all going to sit our fat asses in front of the camera and talk. Just like you've been doing nonstop. She even made videos from her hospital bed. Oh, but yeah, backed out of Adam Barter's deal. Okay. 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 All right. Um, and what else was it? Now, this is what I don't like. This is what I think is bullshit, Adam. She backed out of the deal. We all agreed to it. She backed out of it. Left you hanging. Left you scrambling to find somebody. She fucked you over. Fucked the tea over. And now this bitch is making demands. She'll only be on the show if she gets to be on the panel with Tan Mom and me. Now, why does she earn that privilege, Adam? Why? You think she's going to bring more people in than me and Tan Mom can do? No. She's unworthy of this. I don't want her on the panel. I don't want her on the panel. And, hey... I can DM Tan Mom the bullshit that this bitch has been putting up against you, Adam. I don't think Tan Mom would want to be on the panel with somebody who's gone on and on and on for hours trashing Adam, trashing the tea that suddenly, oh, I'll be on it if I'm on it with Tan Mom. Why does she get to pull that card, Adam? Why? She's done nothing for the show. She hasn't even been a part of the show. The only part of the show she's been is the part that you put her in because you put her fucking face on it. She doesn't even show up for all the chats. She showed up yesterday because now she wants to be on the show with Tan Mom. That's not fair. I've been in the show the whole fucking time, and we just met. She's been your friend for years. This is you out. I back you up left and right, and she throws you under the bus, reveals our secrets on the show. Now you're letting her give you orders? Bullshit. Bullshit. I don't want her on the panel. I don't want her on the panel. Take her off, or I'm going to tell Tam Mom what she did to the show and to you. I want her off, so, yeah. 
We'll see what happens. If I don't show up, and perhaps I can convince Tan Mom not to show up, you and Annie can have it, Adam. Oh, oh, really? I am higher than Annie, and I don't want her on the show. So that's how I feel, and I'm pissed because she blew it out of the water, and she shouldn't get the privilege to be on the show that she didn't want to be on until she gets to be on with Tan Mom. No, that's bullshit. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Oh, my God, I keep making this video over and over. First, I want to say um, to Cynthia Beaumont, please go back and do just a scroll and cat videos if you're really not unhappy oh but yeah if you did go back there you wouldn't get the views you get when you sit and you do your hate videos yes they're hate videos because when you said that i was dead and that you wish that you want me to stay dead let me tell you something words are very powerful i'm a mom of five i am a grandma grandmother of four so yeah but they're not hateful vile people that you think they are I raised my four, five beautiful kids, and they are well loved in the community. They are um, Dean, my my twins are on Dean's list. Um, the whole football team loves them. The whole um, you know this community here loves them. Oh my, my daughter's a nurse, and all her patients love her. She cried over this one lady that she used to work at this nursing home. She, you know they all are very compassionate, beautiful young people, and. They're not hateful. You want to say I'm a hateful person? No, I am not. And I shouldn't, I'm not ashamed of being on here and reacting to you because I want people to know how nasty and vile you are. How dare you say we all are mothers and we are, are we're raising future hate, hateful people. Are you really serious right now? My kids know what that I make these videos. These kids know I do YouTube. They, they co-sign me into doing these videos because they know I'm not a hateful person. They know what I'm saying. They know everything that I do. So yeah, you, you you don't make no sense. You really don't. And your viewers are just as dumb as you are. Vile and nasty and dumb. So, but she went in, um, like I said, she went, she mentioned Lizzie Talks, um, Perfect Storm. And then she went after Just Me, Marcy. Marcy is a sweetheart. I love her. Yes. And when I say I love you people, when I tell my you all, you beautiful people, I love you. I do have love for you true and genuine love okay marcy did that as a joke oh by the way marcy if you if you didn't hear her video she said you threatened her yeah okay anything somebody says to about her is a threat i'm beginning to understand that she thinks she's such a celebrity i mean who's gonna be her security adam barda she couldn't defend uh I'm gonna leave this alone. I can get myself into trouble. But yeah, she's when she went ham after um Annie saying she called her a pig, like real because she doesn't wear makeup. Annie's beautiful to me. And she's whatever she's done in her lives, whatever she done, whatever, whatever in her past. That's between that her and them. Obviously, her and MT are cool. So <laughs> um for someone who don't watch any of us, you sure know a whole lot of us. But she always goes on, um, because she goes, Adam Barter goes on her live, so she goes in, in there to stalk Adam and see if he talks about her. That's pretty pathetic, don't you think, people? And then she proceeds to say that Annie had this weight loss surgery so she could become another Mama June so she can get her own show. Oh, my God. And then she says she's a raven lunatic. Mm, she's demented. Oh, it seems like you're describing yourself. And then she had the one video where she, one part of the clip where she had the Southern draw and that she said, yeah, you know, I have many voices in my head. She has, yeah, many multiple personalities, maybe. Oh my God. Um, she's, she was infuriated with Annie because she wanted that disc battle to happen. And, um, but it would have been a waste of time because this thing you is so easy, Cynthia. You you're so weak and you don't know how to do a disc. You really don't know. Your clapbacks are weak. They're very hard. Because you see, I'm still here, right? Wow. Yeah, you made me cry so hard I'm dead. Yeah, I'm the spirit of Panda's mom. I'm back here just to film this video for you and I'm gonna go back to being dead. What a sicko. And then um what else did she say? All I got to say... Oh, and there's another piece of advice. I, I don't know if I mentioned this. I know I keep mentioning it in other videos, but she really needs to ha watch a video. If she's going to watch all of us, she needs to get a YouTube video that shows how to blend eyeshadow. 
and she also in some of her TikTok videos, she her made her her lipstick is all crooked. Her eyeliner could be crooked. I'm telling you, she she wants to talk about people, but she's not perfect herself. And I'm gonna say this about me: I'm not perfect, but I don't come off in people's looks. Cause look at me, I've been a lot ago. Like I'm the last person to talk about looks. Um, but she wants to go ham on people's looks all the time. I only wanted to say that she what she said that came out of her mouth about the protesters was wrong. That's all. All this started over that. And now she comes after looks, calling me, calling everybody the c word, calling everybody the b word. She says she don't. She's she's a um a great Catholic, but yet she don't care. She's gonna keep cursing. Mm. Mm. And then she takes the Lord and Lord's name in vain. On top of that, how you how you say you love your God, but then you turn around and curse him out too? Like you're such a hypocrite. She's the biggest hypocrite on YouTube, guys. So um yeah. For her to talk about us being a hateful mothers and grandmothers, my grandkids and my kids are most amazing beings. I'm telling you, if any of my supporters that were ever around them, they wouldn't even you wouldn't even see that come out of them. They would not. They would not. Okay. The te all my all, every single teacher from air, all my five kids have told me have always written into the report cards. Um, very a uh, pleasure to have in class. I wish I can have them next year. You know, because they love, and they said, that sometimes the one teacher even said, I wish all my all my students were like this, like your son or daughter. So yeah, um, I don't pretty much think my kids are very hateful. You just mad, Cynthia Beaumont, that people are putting your the truth about you out there and then you won't get any more subs. If you didn't act the way you did, people might like you more. Go back to make, making those cat and squirrel videos because that's all that's all anybody ever cared about anyway. So, but yeah, I just want to mention this. And you know, like I said, she wants to say Social Blaze is, is fake. I guess my number is on there. That matches my number is on my um, YouTube studio. I don't know how that could be so spot on, but yet yeah, it's fake. Hmm? All right, gang. Yeah, this, I just want to put out there that she went after poor Annie and called her a pig. How disgusting can this woman be? And she said, I was, she said, I, she wants me to stay dead. Really? Oh, I guess this is the spirit of Panda's mom. Hmm. 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 All right, gang. You guys have an awesome day. I just like... <laughs> oh, I'm like... I, I don't know how much worse... I, I keep saying, how much worse can this woman get? She gets worse. Huh? All right, gang. You all have a beautiful, awesome day. It's kind of sprinkling here. But at least I got my walk on. I'm going to do my hip-hop abs later. This is going to be day three hip-hop abs. Actually, my first day was... was I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And then yesterday, uh, it was spot on. I really... It felt it felt really good. So I, I'm adding cardio in with my walking. So yes, I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. Summer's almost here, guys. Oh my God. Summer's, I'm excited summer's almost here. So you guys have an amazing day. I hope you guys are... Um, you know, waking up, ha having a great start of your week. So stay blessed, stay true, stay positive. I love you all. I'll talk to you guys soon.